I have been meaning to film this video for two weeks and it's a review so I feel kind of bad because the company has been like waiting for me to review it. I've just been super busy and haven't got around to it. So the products that I'm reviewing are by Body Blends. So I'm not going to blab too much, I'm going to get straight into kind of reviewing it and just letting you know what my thoughts are. And I'm going to put some little clips in the corner somewhere of me applying this and actually using it. So this is what they sent me. First thing is the coffee scrub. So it's like a body scrub. You can use it on your face and body, which is really cool because I actually needed a face exfoliator, so that's helpful. Um, excuse my horrible nails, by the way. Uh, I need to repaint them. So this is in the scent, flavor, flavor? Yeah, it's in the flavor vanilla blush. And it's a coffee scrub. So if I go and look at the ingredients, it is coffee, salt, olive oil, Vanilla flavour, oatmeal, almond oil, I never know how to say this one, jo 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 jojoba oil, jojoba oil, okay we'll go with that, macadamia oil, vitamin E and benzyl alcohol. So it's obviously like the majority of the smell is coffee but when you like smell it for longer you get like the vanilla smell and it kind of reminds me of mocha so it's like a, it kind of smells a bit chocolatey. I have a hair that is like confusing me because like in my face. So on the back here it says ground arabica coffee beans enriched with oatmeal and vitamin E, a skin loving match made in heaven with the soft aroma of warm vanilla. Formulated to actively target cellulite, stretch marks, acne and eczema with caffeine from only the best beans. Simply scrub two to three times weekly to get that glowing radiant skin you desire. So yeah, first thing I noticed was how nice it smells. It is like delicious and I want to eat it but I actually got some in my mouth by accident the other day and it's disgusting so don't do that. The packaging is really cute. I like how like I like how the packaging feels. It's like it's like semi-matte and I like it. It's really silky and lovely. So the packaging is like a kind of ziploc thing and that's something that I do kind of have a bit of a problem with because the coffee kind of gets stuck in the ziploc bit so it actually doesn't reseal very well like try and actually reseal it properly. Yeah, it just, it doesn't reseal, reseal, so I think they should maybe rethink the packaging a bit or come up with a different kind of ziplock feature or maybe even like one that you like stick back down because I've been using a bobby pin to kind of like keep this together. So I'm a bit fussy with exfoliators. I don't like anything that is too chemically and because of this being coffee, it feels a lot more natural. Um, I used it on my legs, which is my main problem area because I actually get really dry, itchy skin on my legs. I freshly shaved before I exfoliated. I would normally say do it the other way around because your legs can be a bit sensitive after shaving, but I didn't want you to see my beastie hairy legs. So I had to shave beforehand. So I literally just wet my hand, dip my hand in, and then I get quite a lot of uh, product on my hand and I just rub that in, exfoliate it, and then just rinse it away. After you rinse it off, it kind of leaves a residue, but it's not a bad residue because a lot of things can leave like a sticky residue or just like oily and it's really annoying, but this actually leaves like, it's almost like a lotion feel. It feels like, let me just touch my face. It feels like a moisturizer so you're exfoliating but it feels like you're also moisturizing and I think that's something to do with like the different oil that they have in here another thing that I don't really like is the fact that it's coffee um, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of it like it's great it's really nice and I like it but it's just so messy especially if you're gonna be doing this in your bathroom it like gets everywhere and I actually had my mum call me back in the bathroom and say Katie this stuff is everywhere so you just have to kind of rinse it a few times, but it, I got rid of it eventually. But yeah, that's kind of like two disadvantages and that's only based on the packaging and the fact that it does get everywhere. But in terms of what it actually does for your skin, I really like it. I think it's a nice product and I mean, even my arm feels super silky and like my skin never feels silky, so I'm quite impressed with it. Um, so I think it's really cool that you can actually subscribe to save 25%. I think that's a really cool idea because if you use this like three times a week, you will use it up pretty quickly. So deliver every 30 days. I think that's pretty a nice idea, especially if uh, you really enjoy these products. The second item they sent me was the oil. It's just like a skin oil. You get 100 milliliters in here and it actually smells delicious as well. To me, it smells really vanilla-y. 
Let me see what the ingredients are. Uh, ooh, coconut oil, macadamia oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, and vitamin E, which is the fragrance. So to me, it smells really vanilla-y, which goes really nicely with the vanilla and uh, coffee. So I kind of love that. So it says to shake well before you use it, apply it after your scrub, store in a cool dry place, do not refrigerate for external use only, blah 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 blah. Again, I quite like the packaging, I like that it's nice and sleek and just quite simplistic, I'm all about that life. So I kind of thought that I wouldn't like this product with it being an oil because I thought, oh, it's going to be like really annoying with in terms of like it absorbing, it's going to take ages to absorb into my skin, it's going to leave a horrible residue and when I put my clothes on it's going to feel icky and horrible. So I was thinking, mm, not sure about it, but I have actually used this a few times now and I do really like it. I've always had a problem with moisturisers and it's made the main reason that I actually don't moisturise as much as I should. When I put it on my legs, it takes forever to absorb, it takes forever to rub in. This, it just glides on. So you just like pour a bit on your leg, rub it in and it, it actually doesn't leave as much of a residue as you'd think or at least not an annoying residue. Like it's, it feels silky and smooth but it's not irritating and it's not gonna like make your clothes stick to you or anything. The only thing is I didn't use it on my face because I didn't want to risk breaking out or anything because my face is, you know, very um, susceptible to getting spots, especially reacting to products that I use. My skin on my face does not like that. It doesn't like face masks that much either. So I try to avoid stuff like that on my face. So I actually just uh, exfoliated with scrub and then I applied my normal Kiko moisturizer on top and I still have that slight residue from the actual exfoliator which just feels nice and smooth, doesn't feel irritable or anything like that. So I think that's basically everything summed up in my opinion. I do actually really like this product and I think I would legitimately buy it again. It's not something that is on the top of my list of things I need to buy, but I will, I will definitely try out um, some of the other flavours. I want to say a thank you to Body Blends for contacting me in the first place and letting me try their products out. I will put links below to Body Blends website and Instagram and other social networking. So if you want to check out their posts, then go ahead and follow them. And that's basically it, guys. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in my next video.